I just wanted to bring you on a day in the life of a reseller. I have um, a busy, busy day. Mondays are always really crazy for me. I have just so much stuff that I need to get done. So I'm going to, um, I have 32 things to ship this morning, which are all of this stuff over here. It's all ready to go. I'll show you guys a couple of them in a minute. Um, and then I have to, um, Return a couple things to Goodwill, including the Santa with the missing head that I talked about in the last video. Um, so I thought I'd take you to a couple thrift stores, and then eventually I'm going to make my way to the outlet later. So, yeah, you guys want to come with me? Really fun. Um, I also really wanted to say thank you. My video went up yesterday, my first video, and you guys... I have no words for how you made me feel yesterday. I was just like, oh my gosh, people actually want to hear what I have to say. It was, it was unbelievable, you guys. So huge thank you. Huge, big, huge shout out to the people in the eBay Thrifters Facebook group. You guys are my backbone. You support me so much by reading my blog, by coming here, by sharing this, these videos and the things you were saying to me yesterday had me really, really emotional. It was so sweet, and thank you. And thank you to Glenn, the um, the admin, the guy who runs the eBay Thrifters group. He's so great, and he allows people to come into his group and, you know, soak up knowledge and share knowledge, and he has a book out right now. Go pick it up. It's on Amazon. Um and join eBay thrifters. I will be talking about them more later on. Um, so, but let's talk about what I'm packing up to ship right now, shall we? So, oh, all of this stuff. It's really crazy in here right now. Um, so I'm holding my phone. This isn't the best idea, but I'm holding my phone right now too, so I can kind of move around with you guys a little. Um, first off, let's talk about this. This is a Disneyland 40 puzzle. I got really excited when I saw this because I love Disneyland. I'm a huge Disneyland nerd. I um, I love it. So I know a lot about Disneyland and the history. And anytime you see anything Disneyland, you can almost guarantee that it's going to sell. Pick it up. See what it is. Check it out. So I picked up this puzzle for $2.99 and I was really excited. I was like, ooh, this is cool. Maybe I'll even keep this. Um... And then I looked it up online, and all that they had on eBay were a couple that were sealed, um, new in box, so sealed. So if you ever find this. Um, and they were going for about $100. I mean, and actually selling. Not just price that high, but actually selling. So I was like, okay, well, my used one, I bet I can put it up for $50, and it will sell right away. Um, but I started putting it together, and not all the pieces are here. Um, so that was a big bummer. So I put it up for, um, I think it was $25 and went on sale and yesterday I sold it for $18. So, Hey, I'm still making a few bucks and you know, I did put, I made sure to put in the title for crafts or parts only. So people knew that, um, they weren't getting a complete puzzle. I mean, and I put it in bold lettering in the title and then I listed it again throughout. So make sure that people know what they're getting. Um, let's see. I'm only going to show you guys a couple things this morning. I have a lot of clothes that sold. Um, ooh, this is a really nice Nike jacket that I picked up. This guy sold yesterday for 20 I got it from the bins, though. It's Nike Sphere. One thing I can tell you guys when you're looking at, um, any sort of sports clothing like this, there's always a little paper tag. Um, and on that paper tag, there's usually a series of numbers. And most people overlook that tag. They don't even look it up. But if you actually Google the name brand and those numbers, you're going to find exactly what your item is called. So, you know, Nike, Columbia, they all name their items. They all have names. Like, this is the spear jacket. Um, and you want to find out what those names are. And you want to include that in your listing because it can really bring you more money. Oh, I think I found it. Okay. So, here it is. It's very small, guys. It's right... Can you guys see it? It's right here. And there's a series of numbers. This one series is six, it's hard to see. But anyway, 617-835-339. That series of numbers, I was able to type that into Google with Nike and it pulled up, told me exactly what it was, how much it sold for, 
all that good stuff. It makes listing a lot faster and a lot easier if you know these little tiny things. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of clothes in here. Here's another Columbia jacket that again, I did the same thing for. I went in and I looked up the little numbers and I was able to tell exactly what the name of this jacket was. And that saved me so much time and my listing looked better than a lot of other people's who just put Columbia fleece jacket. So you really want to include so all the details the that, you can that I told in you guys. Um, the big snow village, this guy, this is a track that just goes around a village and it, um, I picked it up for $20 and it sold for 75 because it wasn't working. It was broken and it sold for $75. If it was working, I could have easily got 200, but it's okay. Um, it's by department 56. Look at that label down there, guys. That is a big name to know. Department 56 is huge in the Christmas world and expensive. Obviously I sold a broken thing for $75. Shipping's going to be expensive, but I'll still make a couple bucks off of it, so that's fine. Um, and here's a couple of the little Mr. Christmas lights that I told you guys I sold. There's three of them total. There's a Santa head, too. And they all sold for between $25 and $30. Shipping is going to probably be about $15 for each of them. And that leaves me a couple bucks on um, profit. Probably, you know, $10 to $15, and I'm okay with that. Um... Anyways, I'm going to start getting to my shipping. Here's my pile if you guys want to see some of the stuff in here. Um, and nothing exciting, I'm telling you. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Welcome back. So I just got to the post office and I'm dropping off most of my packages. Sadly, I ran out of tape. So I have to go to the store and get tape and then I'll package up a couple of the bigger ones and bring them back. But I wanted to I have so much stuff to ship that I might as well do it in cycles. So here's some of the stuff. There's two big bins full of stuff. And you'll see some of that, the stuff I'm returning to. So I'm going to take this inside and then we're going to head to Goodwill and do some returns. So I just pulled up to the Goodwill outlet. I took a wrong turn out of the post office. I was going to go to the main Goodwill, but I took a wrong turn. So we ended up coming here instead first. And um, I'm really excited. I love going to the bins. I... It's 1 15 right now. I need to be home by about four o'clock because I still have those packages to ship out and they need to be to the post office by five. So I'm only probably going to stay here for about two hours. Um, I'll try and take some video while I'm in there, but no promises. I don't want to make anyone mad. Um, but I wanted to show you what I take with me inside the Goodwill bins because a lot of people ask that question. What do you take with you? I don't wear gloves because when I buy clothing, I like to feel the texture. Like I want to know, I can tell immediately what the fabric content is by just feeling it. And a lot of the higher end brands, you can feel if it's good quality or not. So anyway, um, a few, well, maybe a month or two ago, I invested in a fanny pack. Yeah. Yeah, I have a fanny pack. Never thought it would happen. Um, but it makes life so much easier in here. I don't want to take my purse in. And I accidentally left my keys in the cart once because I was just like clipping my keys onto the cart. And anyway, I, I invested in a fanny pack after that. So I pulled my hair up because you don't want to have your hair down when you're trying to dig around. And I have my fanny pack. And inside of my fanny pack, I have let me try it, hand sanitizer. Um... So that I have chapstick. I am a chapstick fiend, so I have some chapstick. I have headphones because I don't like to talk to people. Whenever I don't have headphones in, people just follow me around and talk to me. And that's just, I have to really focus when I'm in there. Like my head is down, I'm focusing, I'm digging, I'm trying to get in and out of there. Um, and then I'll have my keys in there, my debit card and my ID. And then lastly, and this is probably unnecessary, it's just something that I do. I carry pepper spray everywhere I go. I'm a woman, and sometimes when I leave the bins, it's dark out, and I am just a little bit paranoid. That's probably not good to admit, but yeah, so that's all I take. Um, and I take my phone, and I listen to um, podcast or music or whatever the entire time I'm in there. So here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Hey, guys. So here I'm the Pretty sneaky, so bear with me. Um, this is my cart somewhere. Found a lot of this jam and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. There it is called my good little friend. Looks like. Hi, 
Okay, so I just got done at the outlets. Um, I wish I would have been able to show you guys more, but you know how it is. Couldn't. Um, anyway, spent $39. There's my receipt to prove it. $39. And I got a whole cart little stuff. Um, I found some really good stuff. I found some Tory Birch pants. That was probably my biggest find. Look, there it is. My whole cart. It's huge. Um, so I'll show you a couple things because I'm throwing them in. Found Thomas the Tank Engine. This stuff is always good. Um, I found an entire pile of Jams World stuff, which is um, good Hawaiian brand. And let's see here. What do we have? We have Polo. Polo's good. More Jams World. Department 55 Little Houses still in the package. Those will sell really well. And I have Tommy Bahama. Here's those Tory Birch pants, guys. My first ever Tory Birch find. Huge, yay, Tory Birch. Um, and then there's just a ton of stuff. I found a huge amount of pajamas, so that was really cool. Um, I found a vintage Kermit. Uh, look at his tag, it's totally old. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm home, I have everything organized into piles to show you, and let's talk about what I got. I got 58 items total, so $40, that makes it a little over 75 cents an item. You can't beat that. If you have a Goodwill outlet near you, check it out, see what they have. Um, because those prices, even if you are selling things, if I sell something for $10, it's $2 to ship, I'm still making about $5 on every item. So that's great. That's how I do my business personally. Um, so let's talk about what I got. I have, where do I start? Let's see, what do you guys wanna see first? I have a giant stack of pajamas. Pajamas sell really well for me. I love selling pajamas. I don't know why people love buying pajamas so much, but they love it. So I got um, two pairs. They're just bottoms, which is kind of a disappointment. I got two pair of Nick and Nora pajamas. I got these little owls, and they have some wash wear on them, so they're not going to sell for a lot, but they're cute. Um, and they're a good size, right? These ones? Yeah, extra, extra large. Great size. These will sell right away. So there's the tag. You can see it. Good size. Excited about these. And then the next pair that I got were panda bears. These are a size small, but these will sell too. Actually, in the Nick and Nora pajamas, the panda bears are really popular if you look on the sold section. And then I got two pair of um, Selma Intimates, which also sell for a decent amount of money. These, This brand of pajamas, you can sell um, the sets for between $30 to $40, and they sell pretty fast, which I like. So there's the tag for these. S-O-M-A Intimates. And this has little fishies on it, super cute. And it has a top too, short sleeve top. And then the second pair, same brand again. Um, this is long sleeve though, long sleeve top, and it's a size medium. And this has coffee on it, I love coffee. So yeah, it has little coffee pots on it. And then I got a Victoria's Secrets robe. I love Victoria's Secret robes. They, I've sold quite a few of them. This one's a lo nice long one too. I don't know if you can see how long this is, but it's nice and long. And it's for, by the Victoria's Secret collection. This robe should sell for between um, 25 to 30. I'll probably start it out at 35 and then I'll run a 20% off sale. And that's with free shipping. Wait, did I say 25? 35. I'll start this off at 35 and then, you know, I'll do the 20% off sale, free shipping. And then another pair of uh, just Victoria's Secret pajama bottoms. Anything Victoria's Secret, it always sells. I actually even buy Victoria's Secret bras. So these ones, 15. And then I bought a Chanel robe. These robes sell really well. Um, these are really good quality. This is called Chanel, guys, when you see this kind of... I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but this is kind of like that textured. They make, um, there's a lot of like vintage blankets and stuff made out of this. Buy them. They sell. People love Chanel. When I worked in the kid world, we, um, I worked at full line stores too, and I used to sell Chanel chairs. They were so cozy. 
And anyway, this is the brand Stan Herman. His rubs sell um, between 30 and 50, if I remember right. I looked it up at the bins and I was like, oh, this is a good buy. Next up, I got a Mickey, this vintage um, Mickey and Company by JG Hook. Do you see that tag? Woo, there's the tag. Um, it's super cool. This is going to sell really well. And actually, Vans just did a release of shoes, and they did kind of a pattern like this for one of their patterns. I won't wear it, but if I would, I would be keeping this. Look at this cool collar it's got. Love it. Apple Seeds. I got this Apple Seeds sweater. Apple Seeds is a mail order catalog and they have, their stuff is expensive. So their sweaters range between like $60 to $100 and people love them. Um, Apple Seeds has one of those followings where if you haven't heard of it before, you probably wouldn't hear about it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a mail order catalog. Here's the tag. It's a size extra large and we love big sizes. So I'm going to put this up. I'm going to start this one at 45. Um, it's got that really cool pattern. I think that I will end up taking a best offer of around 30 for it. Um, a vintage polo jacket. So I actually sold a red one like this just a few days ago. There's the little guy. There you go. Here's the tag and it's got that awesome plaid lining in it. And it's a size large. Everything about this. We love everything about this jacket. So, and it's vented. This is called vented, guys, when you see something like this. Vented. Um, I'm going to put this up for 50 And it won't sell for that much. It'll probably sell for like $35. i will put it in a padded flat rate envelope. And I'll make 30 bucks. Not bad. Um, this is an Eddie Bauer sweater. I don't love Eddie Bauer stuff. Eddie Bauer stuff isn't great for me. But their sweaters and their older stuff sells pretty pretty good. I only bought this because it has, um, it's lamb's wool and angora. So angora rabbit, it sells. People love it. So I'll make sure that I include that in the title. So here's the tag. You can see where the fabric content right there it says the fabric content. Come on. There we go. Um, it's cute though. It's cute. Someone will like it. It's got these little balls on it. And then I got another sweater with the same thing. It's the same thing. It has, um, oh, this one has alpaca. Alpaca. I don't care what brand it is. Alpaca sells so well. People love alpaca. Um, so this, that's usually never 100% alpaca. I've never seen that before, but this is a uh, 40%, which is a pretty good content. I think the highest content I ever sold was 70. So yeah, any, even 10%, it doesn't matter. If it has alpaca in it, people buy it. So look at your fabric contents. Can you see it's J. Crew? Again, my lighting is bad. I'm sorry, guys. I actually ordered um, today. I ordered a new camera, and I'm getting a mic, and I'll have a better setup within the next couple of weeks. So bear with me. I know these first couple of videos are rough, but I want to get that content out to you guys. So back to this. This is a size. What size are you? A size medium. It's a men's cable knit gray. This will sell. Great thing about men's clothes, they don't return them. They buy them and they keep them. So this guy is, not that I have a lot of returns, but this guy's gonna love his sweater for 30 bucks, I would say. Maybe more, I'll put it up for, probably maybe even start it at 50. J. Crew goes pretty well, so I'll start it at 50. Maybe, hmm, that's a lot. I got this cool vest and I would totally keep this for myself. Um, my husband thinks that fur vests are just the stupidest. So so I got this really cool fur vest. It's super fun. Fur vests are really in style right now. People love them. And it's this cool maroon color. It's not a good brand. I mean, it's okay. Rampage. It's not like a brand I really care about. They sell it at Macy's and kind of all over the place. But it's a large and it will totally sell. I have one just sold for, I looked it up, for 20 bucks. And again, it has its goodwill tag on it, $6.99. I'm glad I didn't pay $6.99. Let's see. We're getting, I'm, I'm trying to go fast here, guys. I know that I have a lot. Um, Michael Kors. We love Michael Kors. His stuff. Don't, I, don't think that he's going to sell for a lot of money. Um, his, this label, this Michael Kors label, it's not a huge seller. These shirts sell for like $20. It's a little, I'll make sure I put career in the title. I like to put career when it's business clothes. And uh, my stats show that people are actually searching for that. So it's a little blouse. It will sell. 
Um, Top Shop. Top Shop is a pretty popular brand. They're selling it at Nordstrom's. It's a UK brand. I think they're selling it at a few places, um, but I've bought it myself at Nordstrom's. So Top Shop is a good brand. It's basics and cute and good fabrics and um, it's kind of expensive. So here it is. That's your Top Shop tag. You're always going to be looking for this. Buy it when you see it. It's got this fun little seam down the back of it. This is it. A Ted. And, um, I have a huge stack of Nike stuff that I'm not going to show you guys. I'm just going to pick it up because you guys don't need to see all this Nike stuff one by one. Nike, sportswear, ta-da. Um, there's one piece of Adidas and one piece of Lucy in here. But I get a ton of active wear because of where I live. This brand I had never heard of before, but I picked it up and I could tell that it was nice. I could just tell, again, by feeling it. I love feeling the fabric. So be on the lookout, I guess. Um, this brand, Cynthia, Steve, I don't know. I can't pronounce names. I'm not going to try. So anyway, here's the tag. Size 10, which is a good size. And it's fun. It's got all these zippers. If I was still in the business world, this is exactly what I would be wearing to work. So it's fully lined. Um, which is a good sign. I looked it up and her stuff is going, her prices are all over the place, but I think for a fun skirt like this, I can get about $40 for it. And I have a, I have a big thing that I bought today. So I always see people, they always find the Ralph Lauren purple or black labels. I never find it. Never found it. I'm always looking though. And I'm always like, one day I'm going to find it. Today was that day. I found a, look at, look at, look at you guys. Can you tell the color of this? Purple. Ralph Lauren purple label. That's really exciting. So um, it's one of his maxi dresses and I've seen quite a few. I looked in the solds. Quite a few of these have sold recently between um, 60 to 120. So I, this is my first one. It's in good shape. It's got a few loose. I mean, no, overall it's in really good shape. And made in the USA, it's a silk blend. This is just a really great piece. I'm excited. I'm excited to find this. It's missing its belt. That's okay. I'm gonna probably put this up for 100. I'll start this at 100 and I'll see how it goes. But I think this one's a winner. And I'm almost done. I found North Face. Um, North Face. This is just like a little one piece, perfect for skiing. Nothing too exciting, but, um, you know, North Face sells no matter what. North Face, size medium, and um, this won't sell for that much, probably like 20 bucks, but people will like it. People are going, people are stocking up on ski gear right now, guys. Um, it's that season. Ski, snowboarding gear, this is when people are buying it. So get it out there. If you have anything, get it listed. Oh, and these are those pants. Toy Birch, um, Toy Birch is expensive and popular right now. And these are a uh, riding style pair of pants. See how it has that little in, has this little extra piece right here, this little sewn in piece. That's right, that's like a riding style. Um, so these are great. I think that these will sell for around $50 because it's used. And the thing about high-end designer stuff is that if you can afford it and you know about it, generally people, they just, People that know about it can afford it. So they'll go into the stores and they'll buy it. And um, it doesn't necessarily sell for that much secondhand. It still sells for a lot secondhand. People are going to think I'm nuts for what I'm saying right now. But after all the experience that I've had in retail, I can tell you it's true. Clothes don't hold their value that well. They drop in value pretty fast. So yeah, I got a $300 pair of Tory Burch pants but I'm going to sell them for $50 because they're a used, they're still a used pair of pants. Um, again, I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy for saying that, but that's just been my experience. That's just my experience. Uh, anyway, I'm excited. And the crazy thing is you guys look at this Goodwill tag. Look how much they wanted for them and no one bought them. I want to go to this Goodwill $7.99 for Tory Burch and no one bought it. That seems crazy. That makes me think, are you fake? But it looks real. I mean, I have experience with this brand and it looks real to me. Everything kind of checks out, but maybe I'm wrong. If you saw the tag and you think this is a fake, let me know because I'm still really shocked about that. But 
you know, the zipper pulls, everything looks like it matches up. So we'll see. I got, um, you guys saw this pile of Jams World stuff that I got, and I don't have a lot of experience with Jams World, but I've heard of it before, so I went ahead and picked it all up. And it sucks because I found this stuff right when I got there, and I was digging through the bins that had them in it, and I was finding they were all kind of along the back wall. And in every bin, I was finding more pieces, and I kind of found a couple that match. And of course, the guys come and they're taking them away as I'm like, no, wait, I want to get all the Jams World stuff. So, oh well. Um, I got a lot. There's quite a few wrap skirts, but here's what the tags look like. Jams World. They're pretty kooky. Another skirt. Again, um, this little fish fish skirt. And some of them I think have names of, like, this is a, this is a talking fish skirt. So I'll make sure to include that in the title. And then this, I believe, is a skirt and a matching men's shirt. I thought at first it was an outfit, like a men's, a uh, woman's shirt and skirt, but this looks like a men's cut to me. I have more research to do on it. And if I'm, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, but it does look like a men's cut of a shirt. Maybe not. I gotta check it out, but that would be cool. Uh, and then I found this vintage wool sweater that's hand beaded. It's so, it's beautiful. It's fully lined in silk. Um, it's gorgeous. I, I was stunned by the sweater. I didn't recognize the brand. I don't know a ton of vintage brands, but here's the brand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I looked up the brand tonight when I got home and it looks like it's an old Portland department store. Um, they had, a, there wasn't much clothing listed, but they had old photos and stuff. So if you're in Portland, Oregon, this brand, this um, company used to be where the new city Target is in that really cool building. So that's a little fun fact about where I'm from. And that's about it, guys. I um I have a couple, I have a whole other pile over here, pile of clothes. But it's not that exciting. Um, it's just like your typical bread and butter. I call them my bread and butter cell. So, you know, your Ann Taylor, your, your loft, your... Um, polos and the stuff that's going to sell just for $20 or less. That's my bread and butter sells. That's what keeps me going between the big sales. Um, a couple of men's shirts, Columbia, extra large mountain hardware. Mountain hardware is a great brand. If you don't know about that, that's on your radar. Mountain hardware is another one of those great, um, brands to be on the lookout for that sells really well. I also found these Nike, t I think they might be fake, but I'm going to look them up anyway. And it doesn't 75 cents out the window if they're fake, but this is, um, what I believe to be like an older Nike tag. Um, come on, focus. Anyway, um, it says made in the USA. So, um, anything Nike that's made in the USA is generally older, but there are these team sport shorts. You guys know what that logo is? Let me know. Cause I don't. And I got a jacket, a bra. I sell bras. I love selling bras. They're so easy to ship you guys. Look at this. It's super fun. Victoria's secret bra. And then I bought this Lion King sheets because I found, I actually have the matching pillow new sealed um, in its package right now for sale on eBay. So I'm going to pull that listing and I'm going to put it with the sheets that I found. See, so that's fun. These old, um, these old Disney sheets that we all had when we were kids, at least I had some, they are selling really well right now. So if you have some in your cupboard, go pull them out and put them on eBay. That's about it. Um, I didn't really get any hard goods. A couple things that I kind of showed you guys already. I got this Disney puzzle because, again, Disney stuff sells. And if it doesn't go, if I'll, I don't know if I want to count the pieces or not. I It's a thousand pieces. So um, depending on whether or not I want to count the pieces, these were selling for between $20 to $50. So I guess for that extra 30 bucks that it would sell for, I should count the pieces. We'll see. I think that's a little extravagant anyway. I think I'm just going to sell it for 20 bucks uncounted. And that's it, guys. Um, okay, guys, last little thing. I turned on my Christmas tree. 
Isn't it lovely? Um, and I wanted to say thank you one last time from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Uh, my numbers are up. I've had over a hundred people subscribe to me. That is so crazy. I can't believe you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I really want to um, continue to provide you with quality content. So I went ahead. I ordered a really good camera today. I'm getting a mic and my setup's going to be a lot better in the next week or so. So look out for that. I will be posting videos every few days. Um, I like doing longer videos because I have a lot to say. I want to do videos where um, it's going to be structured where I, I start off, I tell you what I sold, I told you how much I sold it for, I tell you how my sales are doing, and then I talk about what I'm buying, why I'm buying it, and then I answer questions that you guys have. So I've had a few people contact me on my um, the forum, the eBay Thrifters forum. Go to e or go to Facebook, get in that forum, eBay Thrifters. Um, people have been asking me what I'm what I'm gonna do um, if I can answer some questions. I was gonna do a title question tonight, but I just don't have time. I'm gonna do it next time, I promise. So I'm sorry to the person that I told that I would do it this time. So yeah, ask me questions. Ask me questions in that group. Ask me questions in the comment. And also, please like this video if you like it, please. The little button down there, can you like it? Can you tell me? Um, and then, again, huge thank you to everyone. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what I can change. I know the last video, I totally filmed it the wrong way. And I had a few people be like, so uh, you should, uh, you should, you should film it the other way. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. I've never done this before. So, um, and then on Facebook, I am changing that over to, um, a more professional profile. So I know right now it's kind of private and it's hard to find. And I didn't realize that until you guys were messaging me. So Nicole State on Facebook, um, you can start adding me in the next few days or, or so. Message me on there. I will answer. I answer all of your emails. I promise. Um, Miss Mrs. Nicole State, M-R-S, N-I-C-O-L-E, S-T-A-T-E at gmail.com, Mrs. Nicole State at gmail.com. I will answer your email. So send me an email. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what I, how I can help you. I want to help you. So do that. And then um, my blog name. So I told you guys a little bit in the last video that I was changing my blog name because I was stressed out about eBay. Um they don't want me to use their name. So Portland eBay seller, no more in the next couple of days. I have registered the domain name States Place. So S-T-A-T-E-S-P-L-A-C-E dot com, statesplace.com. I will be moving everything over to there and you are going to start seeing all my blog posts there, which I'm still going to keep up on, guys. I still want to do um, a blog post once or twice a week because I, I like writing down those numbers for you. Um... Anyways, again, I can't thank you enough. I, I don't know if you guys realize how much this actually means to me, but it's huge for me. It's huge. So thank you again, and I'll see you guys soon.